Fuck you, it's Friday. Yes, hello and welcome back to FYIF, where we usher in the weekend, I suppose. I am the man behind the curtain, still recovering from my cold, so if I sound like crap, that's only partially my fault. And uh, tonight, we are playing Supreme Commander. God willing. Uh, I've never actually played the campaign for this game. When it first came out, I did multiplayer, and I was lousy at it. Maybe if I played through the campaign, I'd be better. So, that's what we'll decide tonight, I suppose. So I'm just gonna jump in. I don't see any reason to, to hang around here, so uh, let's just do it. <clears throat> uh, and the UEF, that's the way to go. And obviously need to play the initial video. So, oh, and guy with a gas mask asking how many war crimes are we gonna commit? Maybe none, for the first time ever in FYIF, because I think it's just robot versus robot action. From what I remember, the only actual people are, like, the guys who run these, uh, what are they called? Supreme Commander Automatons? So, I'm gonna say none, but maybe there'll be opportunities for war crimes as we go along. But let's go to full screen mode. Alright, there we go. And, uh, let's play the initial video. See what's up. Space held such hope for humanity. A fresh start. A chance for old grievances to wither and die. Quantum gate networks let humanity push deeper and deeper into space. Countless planets were colonized. Governed by the Earth Empire, humanity entered Earth a Empire. Age Terrible of name. Peace and prosperity. The pace quickened. A human brain was successfully joined with an artificial intelligence by Dr. Gustav Brackman. The symbionts were born. Brackman, you nerd. Eventually, humanity's more base instincts took hold, and the thread began to unravel. The symbionts demanded independence. The Earth Empire's response was a secret loyalty program that pacified anyone with an AI implant. Dr. Brackman fled with his closest symbionts and created the Cybran Nation. They would fight for their freedom. An alien race called the Seraphim was discovered by human colonists. The Seraphim introduced the settlers to something called the Way. But despite those peaceful overtures, the aliens were attacked by xenophobic soldiers. Soon, the Seraphim were no more. I'm sure this won't come back the to haunt Aeon us. The Aeon Illuminate formed from the ashes. They would spread the Way and cleanse the galaxy of non-believers. Spreading their peaceful ways through the force, Earth no doubt. The Empire collapsed. The galaxy fell into darkness and chaos. From the ruins rose the United Earth Federation. Yeah, that's the what's up. Idea made new. Unite the galaxy and restore order, no matter the cost. The technology of destruction surged ahead. The armored command unit made killing efficient. An army could be created anywhere at any time. The infinite war has raged for 1,000 years. Billions of lives have been lost. But now the actors are assembled. The final act is about to begin. It is time for the infinite war to end. Why, why now though? Is it just... Because I'm here, and I'm going to end the infinite war because I'm so great, or is there other circumstances that I want to know? <clears throat> Alright, well, uh, let's do it. I guess. From the tattered remains of the Earth Empire emerges a new path for the future of the galaxy. The United Earth Federation seeks to reunite the scattered remnants of humanity under a single banner. So, okay, whatever, it's fine. Let's just fuck. Oh, cool, there's actual cinematics. I didn't know that at all. 
Mr. President. Our latest intel is pretty disturbing. How accurate Not as disturbing as your haircut, all Jesus. This couldn't be happening at a worse time. With all due respect, sir, we're spread too thin. We're forced to defend hundreds of worlds while the Aeon and Cybrans can pick and choose where they attack. I recommend evacuating the outer planets and positioning our forces along a defensive perimeter. That wasn't an option a year ago, and it's not an option now. We will reclaim the systems lost to the Aeon and the Cybran, no matter the cost. What about Black Sun? Barring any major setbacks, it will be operational within five weeks. What's Black Sun? The culmination of my presidency. I want you to personally oversee its final stages of development. Is that clear, General Clark? Yes, sir. One final thing, Mr. President. A new group of commanders is coming online, and one of them is quite remarkable. He's scheduled to gate immediately. Remarkable. <laughs> Ah, uh, that president needs a haircut, and I let. Oh, Lieutenant, we're talking. You are being assigned to Colonel Arnold for the duration of your probationary period. His word is law. Intel reports that two Cybran commanders gated to Capella over an hour ago. We presume they're attempting to inflame the symbiont population. Why is our time being wasted with this op? The local forces there should be able to handle it. Because of President Riley's insistence that we fight across multiple fronts. We had to pull troops away from Capella for other ops. As a result, the research facilities on Capella are only lightly defended. The Cybrans must not be allowed to compromise our work. Are we there to secure Capella for good? Or are we gonna let it fall to the Cybrans in a month? You have your orders, Colonel. You gate at 11.30 hours. Dismissed. So far, everyone in the military and government hate each other. <laughs> okay, whatever. Like, the general is very, uh... Obvious about her dislike for the president. <clears throat> oh, but there's my new suit. Okay. Everyone's really angry in this game. Oh man, and this is the old interface too. I can see why they got rid of this. And thanks to Rorix Venture, I want to say. Oh, sorry. I know what they taught you at the academy regarding Cybran tactics, but you need to forget all that crap. Already done. Cybrans are no longer running from a stand-up fight, and they're not afraid to come at you with guns blazing. Your predecessor forgot that and paid the price. Start by building some power generators and mass extractors. Okay. This feels like a tutorial. Void twenty two fifty eight asking why no faff? What is faff? Oh, and I downloaded the plans for a power generator. That's nice. Whoops. How do I cancel that placement? And I'll worry about that later. That's gonna really bug me though. And Warboss Skull Split asking where'd the third faction come from? I get that there's the AI people and the humans. Uh, the third faction was the Aeon, who uh, uh they met some aliens. And, uh, the aliens were really persuasive. That's about all I got from that cinematic. Apparently Faf is a client for multiplayer games. Well, I'm doing single player, so... Oh, and I downloaded new schematics. Oh, for a, uh, for a land factory, okay. Then, build a land factory to take advantage of all that power and mass. Get it done. Power and mass! I am cultivating power and mass, sir. Apparently you can play single player with Faf and it's much better. But what does Faf actually do? Hopefully it like, aids the UI a bit because this is a little rough. And this camera is moving pretty goddamn fast too. I'm going to just mess around with that for a bit. Uh, pan speed, maybe? Yeah, that's a bit better. Alright, well maybe I'll try to get Faf working next time, but for now we're stuck with good old vanilla. The way the good lord 
whatever his name is. Who's the guy who's in, who made Total Annihilation and Supreme Commander? Something, something. Unit schematics downloaded. Okay, well, I'm going to build some engineers and some medium tanks. Wait, no, I don't need those tanks right now. Now build a bunch of MA-12 striker medium tanks. Move them around and get used to the controls. Okay, <laughs> so this really is the tutorial. Build some tanks and move them. Only the top commanders can do this. All right, a bunch of tanks it is. This is a little different uh, compared to uh, Forged Alliance. I feel like I've forgotten all the hotkeys and stuff, but whatever, it's fine. So far, I'm not really seeing how I'm gonna end the Infinite War if it's been going on for a thousand years. One of our new commanders is really quite remarkable. He built some tanks on almost the first try. We've never seen a commander do this before. Alright, I'm moving the tanks around, Arnold, you bastard. Are you happy? Take your tanks and destroy that cyber and radar. There's a couple of units defending it, but your tanks should make short work of them. Okay, what radar? Oh, okay, that that radar. <laughs> this is why the war lasted a thousand years, says Tundra Fox nerd, or Ned. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you could be right. Also, was the view always like? Bird's eye like this? I swear in Forged Alliance it's on a bit of an angle. Unit schematics downloaded. Okay, well that wasn't so difficult. And I got schematics for something. Oh, for more stuff. Cool. Always build as quickly as possible. It'll save your backside if you gate into a hot LZ. Get some additional units online and destroy that airbase to the southwest. There's some cyber bombers prowling around. Okay. So take a few mobile anti-air with you. Okay. Operation area expanded. Anti-air it is. I'm already out of mass. God damn it. Probably shouldn't have built three factories. You there, commander. Build another thing over there. Can't. Why can't you? There's my anti-air gun. Some more anti-air guns. Whoops, that's light artillery. Whatever, I build that too. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's still alive. That's interesting. I guess I forgot to blow it up. Oh well, the commander knows what he's doing. All right, boyos, head down south. And we'll get that new mass, or, er, whoops, mass extractor. Tanks doing some business against whatever that thing, oh, not another mass extractor, okay, that's good. Yeah, I think the camera angle definitely is different, that's strange. Oh, well, at least my tanks look okay. Oh, and the map's gotten bigger again. All right, how do I put on infinite build in this uh, thing? Map settings, you know, no, okay, no. Oh, there it is. All right, build those things forever. Meanwhile, commander guy, we'll get you on another mass extractor. Oh my God, they got. Tank traps. But little do the Cybern suspect, I can just drive through them. The more you oppress us, the stronger we become. 
Well, I'm gonna free the shit out of you. Yeah, that's what's up. Die, you cybern bastards! The robots look dumb. Okay, I need more units. How's the uh, assembly line going? Oh, it's going wonderfully. Blam. <clears throat> nice to watch though. Damn, this game uh, really nails that sense of scale. I hope there's a naval mission. I always like the naval units the best. Oh, right. The bombers. Kind of forgot about those, and I guess all my AA is dead. Well, where's the rest of the army? There it is. Okay, great. And we'll keep the, the mass extraction. Oof, okay, yeah, that's hurt a bit. Okay, but the army is finally getting its shit together, one would hope. There we are, shoot down that sucker. Move up the staging point, keep the tanks rolling, and hopefully I've beaten the tutorial, one would hope. You can tell the Cybern are evil because their electricity is red. That's science. Not bad, rookie. But don't let it go to your head. Make one mistake and the Cybrans will tear you apart. I've already made like five mistakes. Last, there's another Cybern commander. I'm gonna deal with them. The rest of this op is yours. I'm leaving you with some reinforcements. They're a few steps above your pay grade, but that doesn't mean you can't play with them. Okay. That airbase was meaningless. The larger struggle remains. All right, you cybern bastard. Are we just like talking to each other now, like we're good friends or something? All right, Commander, let's keep it moving. Mass extractor there. Mass extractor there and there and there. And where did all those units, uh... Oh, he gave me some artillery and some tanks. Okay, well. Could have used all those gunships you flew over, but this is fine too, I suppose. A lot of talk about red lasers in chat. Yes, this is Operation Blue Laser versus Red Laser. What if I can upgrade these? Nope, I guess not. <clears throat> That's fine.
Magma Ram saying blue laser were the bad guys and cheat commandos. That's true. Cheat commandos, rock, rock on. And Gen Fear saying, weren't we anti blue and sins of a solar empire? Yes, we were anti blue in that game, but this is a different war, so now we're pro blue. Politics are complex, don't think about it. I probably got enough shit here, right? Like, I don't need to beat around the bush. All right, go for it, boyos. Ooh, that artillery is doing some work. Blowing up mostly meaningless shit, but whatever. Yeah, seems to be seems to be working. We'll move up the rally point a bit. It really doesn't seem like these tank traps are doing much of anything. The artillery just shoots right over them, so I'm not really sure what they're meant to achieve other than look kind of cool. But, uh, let's keep it going. Tech 1 wall section, yeah. Not doing much at all. Oh, there's something? Oh, it's just a thing. Never mind. The yellow arrow made it look a bit more important than I... Realized it actually is. You have taken out my defensive line. I won't underestimate you again. Yeah, buddy, and we don't have to talk, you know. Like it's kind of weird that you just keep messaging me during the middle of the war, but whatever. Here's your next assignment. You need to take out the Cybern commander. I don't care how you do it, just as long as it gets done. Okay, I'll invite him out next time uh, we have one of our chats. Commander, can you read me? Yes. This is Assistant Research Director Thompson. Okay. The Cybrans are attacking us, and I don't know how much longer our defenses will hold. I'm patching you into our systems. You'll have access to our long-range radar. All right, I'll look into it as soon as I'm done building generators. You know how things are, Thompson. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving parts. Oh, and I can build an air factory. So that's what we're doing now. All right, you are over there. Ah, you seem fine, and you got a giant fucking gun. What do you need my help for? But, uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll help you out. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! That's looking a bit problematic. Thompson, might I recommend you fire your gun? Over there somewhere. Thompson? Thompson? All right, Thompson, you asshole. Commander, we have a light artillery installation available, but we don't have enough power to fire it. Ah, okay, my bad. Saturn has some Tech 2 power generators to the far west. If you can capture one of them, we can tap into your grid and fire the weapon. How do I capture stuff? No one told me how to do that and like it. Go capture one of those Tech 2 power generators. But Arnold, how do I do it? No one told me how to do that at the academy. Okay. Maybe the commander can do it? Assist, no, repair, no. Oh, capture! Can a regular engineer do it, though? Yes. Alright, so where's my crappy engineer that I built that one time? Okay, whatever. On the plus side, I'm protecting that base, so that's, that's good. And where's this tech to... Oh, it's over there. Okay. So as part of Operation Steel Red Lasers, we'll get a force into there, steal those things, power the gun, and then we're all set. I like it! I'm Commander Arnold, and I'm always angry about everything.
Hang on those fuckers, though. All right, engineer, get down there. Other engineer, hurry it up. Hopefully they don't have too much stuff around here. All right, now let's start the interceptor production. Oh my god, there's some sort of battle happening. I wasn't trained for this at the academy. I'm a supreme commander, damn it. I wasn't taught to deal with this kind of violence. Alright, looks like that's been handled. Engineers, get down there. You guys just hang around there and randomly bomb those things. I, I think that is going to be the head cannon that the Infinite War has been going on for a thousand years because every commander is even worse than I am, which is just, uh, you hate to see it. Oops. Still, though, it seems like this is going well, more or less. All right, move in, boyos. Engineers, get in there. How's the Air Force doing? Slowly but surely, okay. I want more interceptors. And I feel like we could afford more factories, too, so I'll get on that. Some more cunningly laid walls that aren't going to keep anyone out. Omega-40K saying, victory can be achieved by being victorious. Did you go to the academy too? Victory was actually my major. <clears throat> I minored in unit building. Your leaders are nothing more than liars. Do not believe their propaganda. Shut up, you cybern bastard. Once they're down, bomb the Cybrans back to the Stone Age. You should also look at getting a second base off the ground. There's a lot of mass where the Cybran defensive line was positioned. Check it out. I feel like I already did that, Arnold. I'm also building planes now. I'm excited about that. All right, blow up those. Wait, no, where's this Tech 2 thing? Okay, they're right there. <clears throat> All right, engineers, do your thing. True Media Mix saying, kill the turrets so you can bomb them. Yeah, that does seem to be the strategy we're going for. Oh my god, enemy bombers. Where is my interceptor force? And how do I set up a patrol? I've never been really great at that. Engineers, engineers, where are you at? Belling gun, all right. Engineers are doing their thing. Except for this one, who's just sitting around. Well, let's get more land factories, I guess. I 
This uh, shift maneuver you can do is pretty sweet. Okay, we're slowly capturing these things. Very goddamn slowly. <clears throat> And how's the Air Force doing? The Air Force is mostly shot down because it keeps flying over the enemy base. Okay, who saw that coming? Yeah, Void, you got some good advice here with the teaming up engineers rather than one at a time. That might be the way to do it. I should have built, like, legions of them. Or I could bring down the commander. He's probably good at it. Nah, I'll just build an engineer factory, I guess, and have it dedicated to engineers, I guess. Besides, they're almost a third of the way through. And with all the units I have, I feel like I can win anyways. All right, we'll get that patrol going. Hopefully they won't make a mess of things like they did the last time. All right, more engineers. Losing a lot of energy or mass at this rate, but uh, could that be because I'm capturing these things? I'm not sure if capturing takes uh, takes time or takes mass, I should say. I mean, the bombing campaign is working, even if we can't really hit anything. Ooh, there we go. That was a good hit. That'll do it. And almost captured that sucker. Slowly. I kind of just want to attack him. I feel like I can do this, but I really want to get that gun, you know? Just capture it, yeah, jabroni. Oh well, let's get some more uh, bombers and fighters into the mix. Even if my patrol route got kind of messed up there. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing. Whatever, it's fine. I never really understood the, uh, the patrol system in this. It always seemed kind of finicky to me. But I'm willing to accept that might be my own ineptitude. Oh, hey! Well, you're about to admit defeat, sir, because I'm going to shoot the hell out of you. Come on, shoot, shoot the gun! Yeah! There it is. I love that you can see the projectiles on the minimap. That's so goddamn cool. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. And it shot something... Already dead. Great. Ah, okay, it's still doing its thing. <clears throat> It'll get there. And I got more factories, except I'm almost on a mass. Okay, time to stop doing all that stuff I was doing. Uh, yeah, the mass is not looking... Okay, no, it's looking a bit better. Just, like, building power generators. I know it gives an adjacency bonus. I don't know what that bonus does. 
Does it make units build faster? Does it make them cost less mass? What's the deal? Who knows, I'm sending everything in. All right, boys. Do your shit. They can't kill all of you. And where's the bloody Air Force? Get down there. There we go. Give me some bomber strikes or something. Oh, those are fighters. Okay, well, shoot down their bombers and then get shot down yourself because you went too far. Okay, what to do with all these engineers I built for no reason? Uh, I don't know, start like harvesting mass? Can I, like, just queue that up? Oh, actually, no, there's more mass extractors over here. I'm gonna get them to build those things. This commander is really quite remarkable. He sent all those units forward into the enemy guns. Yeah, I really should have gone around and attack from behind. But uh, this looks cooler, so whatever. Remember the Peewees from uh, Total Annihilation? That was cool. All right, the offensive is going well, although I really feel like we're losing a lot of units here. I wish I could control the super cannon. That'd be nice, but they won't let me. Eat shit, bomber. <clears throat> Magma Ram asking, can crashing aircraft damage your units? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't put it past this game. That seems exactly the kind of thing that would happen. Why are they all attacking that ground? Are they literally attacking ground? Like, did I tell them to... Should I be doing attack move? Huh, okay. Oh, there's our man. Alright, boyos, please shoot that guy. And any aircraft I have. Bomb that thing, please. Yeah, I get fucked, uh, whatever your name was. Guy who wouldn't shut up on the phone. Recall, damn it. Recall. Ha! You actually took him down. Maybe you are cut out for this. I sure am, Arnold. That was a satisfying explosion. The assistance commander, but... 
Oh my god. The Cybrans took Dr. Sweeney. He's one of our top researchers in Keita Black's son. He's also the demon barber of Flint Street, I think. You eggheads get back to what you were doing. We'll worry about <laughs> Fuck you, Arnold, you goddamn jock idiot. Sir, General Clark sends her congratulations for successfully completing your first mission. Thank you. I'm concerned about Arnold. I think he might be a huge asshole. With the defeat of the Cybrans on Capella, UAF disaster response teams were quick to land and begin cleanup operations. Almost 40% of the symbiont population was reported missing, and any remaining symbionts received through psychological decay to ensure that no Trogon horse program was left behind. Overall, civilian casualties were light, and property damage was minimal. Hey, a first! Note, Dr. Eric Sweeney, a noted scientist and quantum theorist, was reported missing. Statements taken from his co-workers suggest the Cybrans may have kidnapped him. Okay. My combat report is... good. But I lost more than I killed. That's not, that's not great. Okay, let's uh, keep it going. While you were busy on Capella, the Aeon pushed out of the quarantine zone and attacked our positions on Luthien. Our forces there are holding their own, but they will fall unless they're reinforced. The strategic importance of Luthien cannot be overstated. The planet is rich in natural resources and home to a small research and development facility that is doing work vital to the UEF. It must not fall to the Aeon. Colonel Arnold will oversee the op. Lieutenant, you will support the Colonel. Questions? How much longer am I going to be holding this guy's hand? You have your orders, Colonel. You fucking dick! Word of warning, Lieutenant. The Aeon are brainwashing monsters who have only one purpose, to spread their so-called way. Do not listen to anything they say. Attack and kill them with extreme prejudice. You gate in 30. 30 what? Minutes? Hours? Days? Seconds? We'll guess seconds. Ooh, it's a snow planet. Their dialogue's a bit quiet, eh? Here, I'll uh, turn up the volume here then. of the science station Lima Foxtrot. Our power core has been breached and we are unable to repair it. If it isn't contained soon, the entire facility will explode. Colonel Arnold, General Clark's orders are to get to station Lima Foxtrot and fix that power core ASAP. Earthcom out. Here's a question, do we need a power core? Also, thanks to, hi Joel, 456 are following. And thanks to Megmaram for following. <clears throat> oh, Megmaram, I get it. Oh, we got a timer. 32 minutes, that's not good. And thanks to True Media Mix for following. So, I gotta, what do they say to do? Repair the research facility, build an air factory. Okay, that can't be that hard. God, Arnold is such a dick. Shut up, you egghead! How did he become a colonel? That's such a rude attitude to have. <clears throat> Although, how did I become whatever rank I am? You know, that's uh, another question. Amateur something dragon. Supreme Commander, one of the most underrated strategy games nowadays. Good to see you playing this. I agree. I've never played the Supreme Commander campaign only multiplayer, so I decided to get back to it. I really should have pri prioritized those uh, factories first. Uh, but I guess it's next in line, so that's fine. This is my second mission after all. I'm allowed to make lots of dumb mistakes, I assume. Uh, okay, so I gotta get area units over the mountains. Oh, but then they have their air units, so that's why I need an air factory, so building... Wait, what the... Those eggheads dropped me on the wrong side of the continent! I'm no help, Earthcom. It'll be hours before I can get there. Tell damn you, you nerds! Do it on his own. God Lieutenant, damn it, Lieutenant the nerds Clark fucked me! Placed you in charge of the op. Establish a base with some basic defenses, and then build an air factory. 
Colonel Arnold will advise as necessary. <laughs> yeah, Colonel Arnold will advise. He got dropped on the wrong continent and didn't realize it until like 10 minutes in. Okay. <clears throat> We'll get these things on anti-air guns, I guess. More mass ext Well, actually, I should really get them on engineers, shouldn't I? Ah, it's too late now. Next one will be engineers. God damn eggheads. Arnold is like a kid's villain. All right, get me a couple engineers. Meg Moram saying Arnold, Arnold is a gym teacher. Yeah, that's pretty much it. God damn you eggheads. You probably can't do a single chin up. All right, let's get that power generator going, and then I'll get some mass generators, I guess. Or mass fabricators. Is it better to, yeah, I guess I should attach the mass fabricators to the energy things. Oh, somebody's shooting something. Oh shit, they got tanks and stuff too. I don't know why I assumed it'd only be uh, aircraft, but uh, that's egg on my face. And now I'm losing both mass and energy. Okay, so there's a room for improvement is what I'm seeing here. Hopefully I can kind of rectify this relatively quick. Oh, is that true? If I put an engineer on patrol, it'll automatically uh, blame stuff? Is that... What I should have been doing this entire time? Thanks, Asterix New Zealand, if that is the, the case. That is good to know. Thanks, guys. Oh, boy. Out of both mass and energy. You hate to see it. Whatever. I'm no egghead. I hate nerds, and I don't know how the economy works. Attention Station Lima Foxtrot. This is Templar Min of the Aeon Illuminate. We have no intention of harming you. Surrender now and avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Oh, you know what? They seem pretty reasonable. Maybe we should surrender. Oh, okay. Sorry, Arnold. Sorry. Oh, God. They almost got me. They're insidious. Now they're flying stuff over my base. All right, hopefully this energy thing gives me at least 200 Err, uh, nope, nowhere near. Okay. I need more power generators. Too many mass fabricators. Yeah, you could be right. Maybe I should stop the production of those for a bit. And let's get, uh... More power generators. On the plus side, even though our economy sucks, uh, the army is, like, kind of coming together. Let's send them in, see how they do. I guess Mr. Supreme Commander should be building another, uh, what do you call it, thing over there. But, uh, whatever, he's already here. That uh, engineer is doing some work. Oh god, oh god, they got a ton of bombers, holy shit. 
Well, one less now, but that's still quite a number of them. Holy shit. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm kind of kicking their ass. That's okay, good. All right, 26 minutes. The ticking clock is uh, pretty scary. But energy production is in the green. All right, Supreme Commander, I want another one of those things. Uh, what are they called? I didn't go to egghead school. A hydrocarbon power plant. Do that. Okay. I feel like I've almost cleared away to that thing. And I got some handy engineers. What can they do? I don't know, maybe that air factory? Alright, you guys clear out the rest of these Aeon bastards. And their weird hover cars. <clears throat> I could use some AA turrets. I'm a little late to the party in figuring that out, but uh, better Nate than Lever, as they say. All right, engineer, get me more tree mass. More tree mass, damn it. And more mass fabricators. And you, get me AA turrets. Colonel Arnold has confirmed that you have constructed an air factory. We're uploading the schematic for the C6 Courier light air transport. Yeah, that Arnold's a real genius. All right, boyos. Keep pushing forward. Why do they move forward in kind of pitiful starts? Is that something I messed up? Attack that direction. Hey, there they go. Took them long enough. All right, keep moving forward. I want the snows stained black with oil or whatever the hell we're using to build all this shit. Now, I've heard a lot of folks talking about how air units need fuel. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how I'm supposed to manage that. I know there's like a thing you can build, like an air platform. But uh so you haven't built a transport yet. Is there a problem? Earth come out. Yeah, the problem is shut up, I'm busy. Okay, after this, switch to uh, some light air transports. You win. I think I've cleared enough of the way to get that moving. Oh, and the AA turrets are doing their job. That's nice to see.
temperature has doubled. We can't last much longer. You got 22 minutes. You're fine. <clears throat> So my mass and energy is hurting. That sucks. Okay, energy is looking better. Mass is room for improvement. Yeah, mass is kind of hurting. Okay, well, let's uh, stop the production of tanks for a bit. We can probably do without those. And also assault bots, just for now. Even though that doesn't seem to have helped at all. All right, engineer, get back to patrolling and go in this direction. Random guy, 2234, asking, Mark, have you considered filling up a T1 transport with mech marines? Yes, but I assume I want to get engineers over there ASAP, right? So I guess engineers first and then anything else they might need. I think I got this area like pretty much locked down, so. Use your transport to move either your armored command unit or an engineer to Lima. Scans are showing a lot of Aeon activity between you and the facility, so it's gonna be hot. Clear out the enemy before you try and reach Lima. You're on your own, rookie. Okay. It's not like you're doing a lot to begin with there, buddy. All right, go, you transport bastard. Okay, these guys really need to stop literally attacking ground. And drop them off right here. Oh, thank goodness you made it. I'll repair the core, quickly. What do you give me if I do? The last guy gave me artillery. What do you got? Okay, repair is underway. Core has been repaired in the station. Oh, that was secure. fast. Good job, Lieutenant. Earth come out. Sir, scans detect a large group of Aeon ground forces. They appear to be readying another attack. General Clark has authorized you to receive the Air Cleaner Tech 2 Anti-Air Turret and the Triad Tech 2 Point Defense Turret. Upgrade any of your factories and construct a Tech 2 Engineer to build these new units. Or come out. Why wasn't I given that to begin with? It seems useful. I am not very happy with Earthcom. They seem to be holding out on me. All right, Supreme Commander, where you at? I want more factories, damn it. <clears throat> and let's, uh... Yeah, that engineer's still doing its thing. I guess those engineers are no longer needed, so I'll just put them back in the transport and get them out of there. All right, back this way. Oh, well, at least the Air Force is getting some action. Okay, what can I build? I'll upgrade this thing, I guess, right? pretty remarkable how much Forged Alliance uh, improved on the UI and stuff. I mean, this is still decent, but it's just noticeably worse. Okay, and we'll upgrade this one too, as you do. Tr 
troop media mix saying you need to build defenses at the station. You think so? Okay, yeah, maybe you're right. Let's uh, get those guys back over there. I guess two engineers on the side of things will make a huge difference anyway, so... And let's uh, get the army pointing the right direction. Oh, there's our hover cars again. All right, let's uh, anti-air, I guess, right? It's gotta be more than enough, I'd assume. And Master Thief Esquire, subscribing with Prime. Thank you very much. 14 months, dude. That's uh, quite a while. Thank you. All towards the war effort. I, I uh, pledge my word. All right, surely I got this wrapped up. They can't have too much down there, right? So, um, these energy things connected to the, uh, manufactory or manufactorium plants, whatever, do they make units cost less mass or less energy? There's a unit limit? What kind of game of Supreme Commander is this? Alright, fuck it. Move in, everybody. Well, at least we got some sweet artillery action going on here. Maybe a bit of overkill on that one guy, you guys. Whatever, you know what you're doing. Okay, we're doing some work, that's good. A lot of energy too, that's also nice. I feel like I can afford to build some mass fabricators here. Unit limit reached. Am I gonna be hearing that every time I lose a unit and then build a unit? Sir, the Aeon will soon launch an attack. Earthcom out. Earthcom, I would like uh, more units, please. To win the war, you know, the infinite war. That thing you guys have been doing for a long time. Okay, whatever. I guess while I'm at the limit, I might as well just upgrade all this shit. Looks like you got all the patrols. You actually impressed me with that one, rookie. You're welcome, Arnold. All right, what are the engineers up to? Are they still building stuff? Yes, they are. Got a few more things to do. So I was told there's gonna be an attack. Is that still in the cards or what are we doing here? Wait, what am I doing? I should get the commander guy to build those power generators right next to the things. Okay. 
Oh wait, the attack is coming on the research station? Oh shit! Okay, where's my transports? I only got one. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Uh. I thought they were attacking me. Okay, so I've only built anti-air stuff there. I'm gonna save the game real quick, because I think this is about to go bad. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Drew Media Mix saying, mission failed. We'll get him next time. Yes, potentially. Unit limit reached. All right, these two transports are gonna have to do a lot of work very quickly. Okay, I need more transports, but I don't have any. Oh God. Oh wait, the unit limit applies to buildings too? That's bullshit. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> okay, this is pretty funny. <laughs> My like four aircraft will have to. Okay, at least there's some turrets here, so it's not a total disaster. Okay, the first reinforcements are here. Get to position. This is gonna be a mess. Man, those two transports are the MVPs of this whole thing. Alright, well, stop building buildings. That's, uh... One thing we don't need. Okay, well, at least upgrades aren't stopped by the unit limit. That's a plus. Come on, guys, you really need to hurry it up here. Well, I can build gunships. That would have been real handy. And flak artillery, that's not as, not as helpful. Okay, I think I'm doing okay, I'm getting you know, more of my uh, army over here, so that can't hurt, right? Unit limit reached. Yeah, yeah, the unit limit. I'm aware. The uh, fairy uh, feature is my favorite thing in Supreme Commander. It's so goddamn cool. So, when does the Aeon Assault happen? God, I love this animation. It's so cool. So, <clears throat> Ayana Salt coming soon, coming later. Unit like, limit reached. What are the dramas being lost here? They're coming! They're going to slaughter us all! Not if I can help it, you idiot. You were given the opportunity to save yourselves. You will now suffer the wrath of the Illuminate. Yeah, but you had a sinister tone, lady. No, transport! Don't die, I beg you!
Do I not have any, like, regular fighters anywhere just hanging around? Yeah, I guess not. Wait, no, I got two. Okay, that could be worse. Unit limit reached. Was that the Wrath of the Illuminate? I, I feel like that wasn't that bad. I feel like I kind of did really well. I have no wish to kill you. Sir, yeah, I have more units are approaching. Okay. Come out. Ooh, that's a lot of fighters. What are they doing? Oh, fuck. Transports. Okay, yep. Ah, but one less now, idiot. Oh, look at that bombing run, you idiots. Shouldn't have threatened me, lady. I don't respond well to that. I don't respond well to anything. for the crimes committed by the UEF. I was not there when the crimes occurred. This is the biggest one yet. Earth come out. All right, take him up, boyos. Defend our freedom to commit war crimes. Oh, 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 is that, oh, fuck. The transports are down, ah, oh, shit. Okay, that's no good. I need more transports. Uh, and more fighters and stuff. Why do you resist? Lay down your arms and accept your fate. Never. I'll never join you! Nice job defending the station, rookie. Operation area expanded. Oh, shit! Sir, General Clark has decided to evacuate Luthien Colony. You are to escort a convoy of civilian trucks to Station Lima. After all this, we're abandoning the planet to those monsters? Lieutenant, this is Constable Nakamura of Luthien. We'll be ready to evacuate once you get some escorts down here. They're going to hit us hard, so you'll need some tanks and mobile anti-air units. Make sure they're escorted by gunships. Luthien out. Okay, A units it is, and also some gunships for your trouble. We'll get the whole army together. It'll be a nice Sunday. And Myrodo is saying, real talk, did the UEF logo inspire the Templin Institute logo? Uh, not really. I mean, they're both diamonds and they both got some squares in there, but that's about it. Um, I had actually forgotten about the UEF logo until people brought it up uh, after the Templin Institute was uh, already a thing. So, yeah, not really. Okay. I need more mass extractor things. Is my unit count displayed uh, anywhere in the UI here? Not that I can see. Okay. Oh, 
Well, there's the gunship fleet. And thanks to Duke of Vader for following. So where are the trucks I'm supposed to pick up, and, and can't I just use my transports rather than escorting them with uh, my precious, precious units? Okay, so I think the army knows what it's doing. Let's let's get in there. And I guess I gotta worry about fuel with these gunships too, eh? Sir, we have detected three Aeon short-range radar installations in the area. Destroy them if you are able. Or come out. Okay, well, there's only two now. This looks like a job for gunship squadron. Yeah, there we go. That uh, that worked out well. Those gunships uh, doing some real work out there. In fact, let's pause the production of all the tanks and let's just get more gunships because those things rule. That is a shit ton of tanks. All the better. All three Aeon short range raider installations have been destroyed. Earth come out. We'd love to see it. Okay, so how do I actually uh, get these units? Oh, I just gotta click the colony, I'd assume. Get units to the colony. Oh, they didn't say this. I need 20 tanks, 14 AA, and 12 gunships. Okay. Well, gunships get there too, please. Lieutenant, the trucks have exited the colony. They are now under your control. Luthien out. Okay. Uh, where am I taking them? Just to my base, I guess? This, this, uh... Wait, I got to these gunships. Can I just pick up these things? Ah, it's too complicated. I'm just gonna keep them all in the blob. Because those gunships, I feel like, are gonna be a lot easier to shoot down if they're in the air. Okay, that's probably taking care of itself. Get those gunships out of the way. Just a whole mess of shit. This is the worst evacuation plan of all time.
Come on, guys. Can we fix this traffic jam, maybe? I need fighters. I feel like we got a real gridlock problem. Okay, get a moving, get a moving. All right. Let's uh, keep the party going. Except, where am I supposed to take these things? Uh, move the civilians to Station Lima Foxtrot. Oh, that's this one. Okay, yeah, my bad. Although we do, we know for sure that I can't just transport these things. Because maybe that would be very handy. And also that asshole's stuck. What are you, what are you doing? Move there, please. Ah, you asshole. All right, please pick up that thing. Okay, you can transport them using gunships. In that case, new plan. Everybody, get in the gunship, and please don't get shot down. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? It seems like it's gonna work! I wish I had more than four interceptors. A truck has reached Station Lima Foxtrot, sir. They've come out. Huzzah! Council wishes to thank you for your excellent work during the evacuation effort. Yes. Come out. I'm a real genius. Thanks, guys. Operation area expanded. Unit schematics downloaded. Oh, shit, there's more stuff going on. Okay. Sir, in addition to defending Station Lima Foxtrot, you are to exterminate the Aeon Commander. Colonel Arnold will continue to advise. Earth come out. I would be happy to exterminate anyone who needs exterminating. And these gunships are sweet as shit. Yeah, that's what's up. Get some, Charlie! I mean, Aeon! And become a knight of the Illuminate. How about you embrace my way and become a dead idiot? Oh shit, they got stuff! Gunship squad, get out of there! Okay, I'm gonna need more units. Alright, let's reset the production schedules. What do I need? Also, what, uh, what units did they get me? Oh, all the tier 2 shit! That's handy. Alright, air power is on hold. Ground power. I want heavy tanks. And missile launchers. And more heavy tanks. And fuck shield generators. And more heavy tanks. And more missile launchers. Alright. And worry about the consequences to all this later.
Actually, you know what? I should set up a fairy system because I love those so much. So, all tech 2 units go here. It appears that I've underestimated you, Commander. That's what they all now say. You will experience the fury of the Aeon. Well, what have I been experiencing so far? Because so far it's been a bunch of bullshit. Oh, except they got a bunch of stuff. Okay. All right, gunship squadron. I want you to ferry stuff there. War factories. You will build stuff onto the ferry point. All you guys go onto gunships. God, I love this so much. Oh, hell yeah, that's cool. So goddamn cool. Let's change the rally point to make it even more extreme. All right, begin the attack, idiots. Let's do it. Oh, all the gunships are out of fuel. Uh, you know what? Are they gonna all gonna crash? Ah, uh, they seem fine. They know what they're doing. All right, tier two boys, let's do this. Where the hell are these guys going? Get back here, please. Okay, so far the strategy is not yielding a ton of positive results. In fact, we're just losing everything. Okay, pull back, this sucks. Uh. <clears throat> okay, the major problem seems to be that they have a ton of guns and I don't have enough. Maybe I need more... something. Where the hell's my artillery? Oh, there it is. Yeah, just... Yes, okay. I need more of whatever these things are. Uh... Flapjacks, great. That's pretty sweet. Oh shit! What the hell are they shooting me with? What are they? Oh god! Oh Jesus! All right, we're changing the drop zone. Satellite feeds of the Aeon base reveal a flaw. The eastern part of Min's base is defended with shields. Use ground units to take out our power generators, and then hit her head on once the shields are down. So I gotta attack from the side, is that what you're saying? Okay, the new drop zone is over here. Thanks, Arnold, you dumb idiot. And I want more factories. Okay, so... All right, that's the new rally point. I already got some missile launchers on the way. We're all heading over there. These gunships are earning their paychecks.
random guy suggesting I use actual transports to ferry them. Yeah, but I don't want to waste the unicap on transports, and I don't really have enough units to justify them. These gunships seem to be able to do all the work, so... I'm producing fewer Tier 2 units than I was Tier 1, so that's my, my thinking. But maybe once I get these things up and running... Actually, you know what the hell with it. Let's build some transports. Why not? Just a few, though. I don't think I'm going to need that many. Because hopefully these things will be pumping out a ton of stuff, so... Maybe that'll change the balance of things. Okay, let's see if uh, this is going to make any sort of difference. So I'll be attacking the weak point here, one would assume. Let's move up the ferry point. And add these transports onto the thing. And we'll get some assault bots into the fray, some tier one nonsense. Okay. <clears throat> Defeat the Aeon Commander, destroy the Aeon Factories, defend Station Lima Foxtrot. I'll certainly try. Alright, let's keep up the advance, move the ferry point. I also need more uh, mass fabricators, I think. Because I'm hurting on mass. Embrace the way and become a knight of the Illuminate. You already said that, and I'm still saying no. Oh, shit! Ah, uh, this is probably fine. Except for that thing. I should just plugging away at that shit. Ah, it's probably fine. I don't have like a spare gunship though, do I? Yeah, I do. Okay, grip, kill, kill that thing. Still hurting on mass. Okay, surely these missile launchers can do something from this range. There we go. I mean, they're moving a bit far forward for my liking. All right, just go all in, boyos. Let's see how this does. And more Tech One nonsense. Okay, this is going a bit better, I think. I mean, not much is getting through. These walls seem pretty tough. I don't know what these missiles are doing either, that's kind of funny. <laughs>
Oh, God. And I'm under air attack. But I got flak artillery, so... Shit. Give me some interceptors. Okay, but the army is making good progress. All right, it's all coming together. And Phoenix Raider, thanks for the host. And Freddy XXX161, thanks for the follow. All right, now we're doing some business. Let's get in there, folks. Still need more mass. Fabricator, there it is. Could also use more transports. It looks like I've kind of run out of gunships. My bad. Let's rectify that. The advance is kind of stalling. We're running out of units. Plus, these fighters are a real pain in the ass. Uh... Mass, I'm still low on. But at least I got a backlog of units. Just gotta get those uh, transports out there. And I'm contesting the skies, finally, so that's good. Okay, the first attack has mostly failed. That's fine, just need to get the transports out. All right, are those transports nearly ready? Not quite. I tend to pull back the rally point. I think that's a little too far forward. <clears throat> okay, we're slowly making some progress. Okay. Yeah, I need way more transports. Oh, and I got transports just sitting around doing nothing. What's with that? That's gonna solve some problems right away. And more power generation. There we go, now we're moving. Can I upgrade my mass extractors? I couldn't in the first mission, but maybe I can now. Oh shit, it looks like I can. Okay, that is, uh... Next on the list of things to do. Thanks for that tip.
All right, let's get the military industrial project really moving here. And let's get more actual uh, energy production because now I'm hurting on that one too. I swear I could get these things to just build onto the uh, onto the point, but apparently not. Okay, but some stuff is finally moving over there, so making a bit of progress. This air corridor is a little dangerous, though. We are the galaxy's salvation. Accept our teachings. Yeah, yeah, I'd give real money if you'd shut up. And I got no AA over here. That's, uh, oh shit, nah, that's gonna cost me. And thanks to Architect of the Future, 154 for following. I'm losing transports left and right. Come on, shoot those fuckers down for me. I gotta assign planes to escort transports. Yeah, I'm not sure if I got enough stuff there yet. Mass upgrade is slowly happening, very slowly. Setting units to assist other units is so fucking cool, I love it. Every transport gets a helper interceptor now. Okay, the mass things are slowly upgrading, and that uh, is a big help. Except I can't really tell where all of them are. Okay, there's one. Upgrade that. That energy thing's done. We'll build another one over here. More transports are ready. Okay. Starting to do some action over here. Resume the advance. Finally getting some movement on this sucker. Uh, this is fun. I always like doing the fairies. That's uh, that's great. Upgrade that thing. I really wish they'd ferry over anti-air over here. That would be a big help. I need some tier 1 AA. I think that might be an issue. Oh, shit, did I break my ferry? Uh, I think I might have. 
That's no good. All right, ferry, or no wait, ferry to there. And every transport, help them. And all you guys, jump in. And everything being produced. Go there. All you guys, go there. Transports. Keep at it. You'll bring that Aeon down soon enough. Thanks, you jerk. All right, push forward, lads. In fact, just forget the walls. Just drive in. This is taking long enough. There's one of those damn things down. Getting some good hits. What the hell was that? <clears throat> so many aircraft. Or some my fighters, damn it. Shit, did I lose all my uh, transports again? They are dropping very quickly. Crap, and the advance is stalled again. Okay, but we still got some more AA happening now. Okay, what am I screwing up here where the fairies keep getting canceled? What is the cause of that? Architects of the Future saying, just move your army there, don't worry about ferrying. Yeah, I guess you're right, but ferrying stuff is so awesome. And it's, it's, it is a, kind of a long way. Although there's a lot of units just kind of sitting around here, so maybe that should be what I'm doing. Come on, guys, let's hurry it up. Thing's only carrying one guy. That can't be a good use of resources. Surely, gentlemen, we can do better than this. You think the T1 bots are just kind of useless there, Mr. Random Guy? Okay, I, I won't disagree.
We'll do more tanks. You know, lemon reached. Okay, that's probably a good sign. Well, let's begin the attack again with whatever's here. Those artillery things seemed very good. I repeat, Station Lima Foxtrot, come in. Oh shit! It's no good. I think we lost them. Why wasn't I? <laughs> Why wasn't I informed? I had so much stuff. No, hey, buddy, we're under attack. That is some bullshit. That sucks. <laughs> Fuck. Alrighty. Well, uh, crap. We'll try that again next week. At least we won the first one or first two. However many it was. Oh boy. But uh, yeah, thanks to everyone for joining me here on FYIF. Of course, while tonight is done, the streaming don't stop. I'll be back tomorrow, probably, for Sins of a Solar Empire. Uh, things going kind of crazy in that game. A lot of super weapons flying around. But check out those blue assholes who in that game are the bad guys. So uh, that was something. Thanks to Maverick1138 for following. Uh, right at the end here. And then on Wednesday, doing some wild card Wednesday. Not sure what. Hopefully some more game Red Dragon. We'll see. And then a week today, we'll come back to this goddamn mission and give it another shot. Also, um, I was trying to like think of what game to stream tonight, and I think Supreme Commander is a good choice. But another contender was Freelancer. I don't remember that game. It was from like in 2003 by Chris Roberts before I went insane with Star Citizen. Anyways, I really wanted to play some Freelancer, but uh, I wasn't sure if it was popular enough. So if you're a fan of that game, let me know in chat before we head out here. Alrighty, and uh, I guess that'll be it for tonight, so we'll see you next time, folks. Thanks again.